recently two videos surfaced where people were trying with an analyzer to prove that wearing one of these face masks um, hinders your exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen when you breathe. They were going about it the wrong way in my opinion and I do have some experience in this field having sold equipment for calibration gases for 10 years for an American company called Concoa. Very good equipment. Uh, the thing is this, you have different kinds of analyzers for different jobs. What these people were using is what you call an ambient air analyzer. These things are, for instance, to be screwed on the wall to monitor the air quality for people working in that environment, not for measuring the air you breathe out, which is exactly what they were doing by sticking one of these uh, monitors or the entry pipe underneath their face mask. It is pointless because you're pretty much measuring what you exhale, which is known to contain a lot of carbon dioxide and not enough oxygen. You can find that on the internet easily. Um, so by pretending that the air you exhale is equal to the air you inhale, they reached their conclusion that wearing a face mask is completely um, well, unhealthy. Um, this, this is not how it works. It's not like you are breathing into a plastic bag in and out, in and out. Um, the volume of air that you will have will be left with underneath your face mask is very limited. Let's say it's it's probably less than 50 milliliters of a couple of liters that you're inhaling in total. It depends how you breathe because a lot of people do shallow breathing, especially when they're in fear, which is pretty much <laughs> what's happening in 2020, isn't it? Okay, so First, you don't use these analyzers. Secondly, you have to do uh, you have to figure out a good measurement routine, which they didn't do. Um, then another thing is a more important topic is what what you're left with inside the cloth in bacteria and all sorts of stuff that your body wants to get rid of by breathing. That's probably a much bigger issue to focus on. Also, the American CDC has published a report in May of this year where they looked at the spread of a virus, in this case influenza, and what the effect of face masks would be in that in the spread. And they concluded that it is a useless device or useless thing to be wearing. Not a lot of people have taken notice of this. May of this year, and it didn't reach the news, did it? Anyway, um, what does work when you're, waist, uh, when you're wearing a, a face mask is you're being severely humiliated by being forced to wear one of these. It's a form of torture. And there's a list compiled by a man called Biedermann, who has looked at uh, communists and their ways of torture. It's a light form of torture, but actually these life and these light and self-inflicted forms of torture are more effective than you know, uh, using a whip on somebody or something like that. So, in other words, um, if you do these kinds of experiments, make sure that you know what you're doing. 
because uh, now you find that uh, I believe it was on Reuters that some uh, an uh, what is it, what is it called some anesthesia guy put one of those monitors on his finger and then with a um, a display showed that the levels of oxygen and uh, CO2 were not reaching unhealthy levels in his blood. It was short term, so you don't know what happens in longer term, but you know. Um, make sure what you make sure that you know what you're doing. That's the point. Thank you.